I'm, you know, hearing how much you love music and uh, has there been any times where you were shocked by people that you got to maybe play golf with that were musicians uh, and, and who that might be? Yeah, when you say shocked, you by, mean by- Like you might've been a fan of them and, you, and then you ended up playing with them or something like that. Oh, well, I before mean- Before really yeah. meeting them. Let me see, let me think real quick. Um, yeah, I guess probably the uh, one of the first guys we had this um, MTV rock and roll thing, and uh, I was paired with Tommy Lee, oh, wow. <laughs> and that was the first time I had ever. And then it was a two day thing, and the next day I was paired with Sebastian Bach. So oh, it was wow. like, and that was like early in my golf career, and it was like, and these guys were out there just rock, have you know having. Uh, it wasn't MTV; it was hard rock. Okay. It was hard nice. rock. It wasn't MTV. It was hard rock. And it was in Florida and stuff. And they were having a, and I said, yeah, these guys are cool. And, you know, we had a great time. And they, you know, they were, didn't really play that much golf, but they were having a ball. And it, yeah. was, it was a fun couple of days. So that was one of my starts to like, you know, really hardcore rockers. But I've, over the times, I've played with a lot of them yeah. now. I mean, those two of the best right there. Right. That's, I that's mean, awesome. Yeah. I mean, then they were both. Couldn't have been nicer. I mean, I love hearing that too. Yeah. You you know, you listen to people for a long time and then you get to meet them and it's like, hell yeah, you just have a good time. They I mean, Alice thing. Cooper I've been playing with for years. He yeah. couldn't be sweet. And he's like, he, he knows so much about music and he's played with so many people. Every time I play with him, I just quiz him about music. Did That's you ever cool. play here? And he goes, oh yeah. I, he, I mean, he really, he knows R&B in depth and has played with everybody and I always quiz uh, he's like just a, a, a fountain of information. R and B quizzes with Alice Cooper. That's interesting. Oh yeah, R and B. I mean, he's uh, yeah, he's. I mean, he goes deep into it. Because cool. I lived in Detroit for a couple of years, and I went in a deep dive in Motown, and really, because I've always liked R and B, and I when I lived there, I went down there and the Funk Brothers and deep dive and all that stuff hell and yeah where they recorded and did all that so it's you know and 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 then when i asked alice i go you know much about our he goes oh yeah i've been a lot of time in detroit playing with you know marvin gay and then i'm like wow, wow okay i mean That's one of cool. my favorite bands yeah. of all time who i've seen live multiple times red hot chili peppers i mean they literally recorded with they were basically a punk band punk, until they sure. recorded with george clinton in detroit and like they did a lot of crazy stuff. They were stuff flat out that. punk when they started. Right. I mean, I did the whole punk. I've seen pretty much everybody in punk during those that time. And uh, yeah. That's cool. I think Alice Cooper was one of the first people I saw in LA when I came out there. I was a, uh, um, but actually not, not at his concert. Just, I was at the out. Rainbow Room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, which I heard was a very iconic place earlier on and still to this day. Um, but I was having dinner with a friend. The Viper room? The Vi yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and then he comes in. I'm like, dude, this is insane. Alice Cooper. Yeah, yeah. Really cool. You I know, I met him a long time ago because he's been playing golf for a long time. And, uh, you know, I kind of met him in Vegas early on when I was, you know, a long time ago. And I was like, hey, da, da, da. And so I cont continued to run into him. And then, you know, Alice got super sober a long time ago. And he just... He said golf saved his life because it wow. just, he's, and by the way, he plays almost every day still. That's amazing. Um, that's First really group out always. Yeah. Boom. Really? Yeah. What are, what are some other awesome Alice Cooper moments? Uh, just, I mean, just playing, you know, no one singular, but just always when I play with them, I always quiz them and always, you know, ask them more about, you know, his, his life of music. I'm just really I, curious because yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I heard yeah. this story and, and um, I can't remember if it was if it was true. I think it was true, uh, but with Alice Cooper, I believe that there was a like moving van that they had him like uh, his poster on the side of it, and they were driving through. And I hope someone can fact check me or something at one point, Spencer. Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> but but it was Spencer. driving in the middle of like the heat of traffic in New York, and it was like, bumper to bumper, insane, crazy, and. I believe it was his idea to stall out the the truck, like like drop the like do do whatever it did to make it break down right in the middle, and it caused one of the biggest traffic uh, like jams, ish, ever. jams ever. And it was press everywhere, all the news station, everything. But it was his face, Alice Cooper, on the side of this thing, and I was like, that is genius. It is. I you mean, know? it's you know, I mean, it's uh, those, yeah. 
Well, uh, Shep Gordon was his manager. Still is. Yeah, 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 yeah. it still is. So uh, a lot of that stuff was probably him and Shep coming up with really cool uh, ideas. Yeah, I, I just think like I love people that go outside the box with stuff like that. And you're thinking like- oh, Shep's you outside the box. Yeah. yeah. But to think you'll get millions and millions of dollars of free advertising just breaking down the car in the worst place you could possibly do it. You know? And I think I can say this now. We have an episode planned with Shep. Yeah, that's, I was gonna. I was just going to throw that in there. I said, he's soon to be. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And- so that whole crew though, who else did you hang with in that crew? Cause I know, I mean, there's so many musicians. Uh, ones that I've hung with a lot. I'm, um, a lot of the managers and those kind of people, I like Doc McGee, who's managed, you know, Motley Crue, uh, Bon Jovi, uh, Skid Row. I mean, those, those were more the guys that I, the, and you know, and we'd play with Tico Torres and David Bryan and, uh, you know, uh, who else we play with? Uh, Eddie Van Halen over the oh, wow. years. Cool. I mean, and, you know, and they, last week I played with um, uh, the, the drummer from um, Kings of Leon. Uh, They're oh, yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's like hard to, rec I mean, you've literally played golf with so many yeah. cool people your entire life. It's yeah. like, asking oh, I've, you I've to been recount. blessed for a long time yeah. you know, for sure. from the start. You know, I've well, always said that. And I mean, that takes... I avoided work for 40 years. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching Studio 22. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And follow our socials at Studio 22 Podcast.